Okay, let's get right into this girly thrift haul. You guys are gonna love what I got. Holy cow, like I found the jackpot of all girly finds. Okay, we are starting off strong with this Cinderella snow globe. I paid $20 for this. This is like my maximum payments I would pay for something I wanted, unless it was a piece of furniture. But honestly, I had to have this. I looked it up online. I can't find anything similar to this. I had to pick this up. Like, look at the freaking details on this. It's so girly. And then you shake it, the glitter. Like, let's let's test this. It's so beautiful. It was meant for me. Okay, that was like total perfection. Honestly, this next find, I found this literally like almost a year ago. It's been at this thrift store for almost a year and they had a 75% off sale the other day and I just happened to pop in and I went crazy in that store. Okay. So this, I got a bunch of stuff for like literally $19 and I ended up fitting everything in this box. I had to have this. This was literally meant for me. Literally. I'm the hat box queen. The lady was like, oh my goodness. And I was like, yeah, I'm the hat box queen. I'm a collector. You know me. Look at this. Look at how pretty. And there's like a little pearl just frolicking around in here that I can just totally hot glue on the side because some of the pearls are missing. I think I'm gonna add them in and just hot glue little pearls to like complete the look. But this is like so cute. I think it's for like a wedding or something or just, I don't know, so cute. I'm not sure the exact pricing on everything. So sticking to the hat box theme, I found this little adorable rose and pearl lace hat box. It's mini look at her super gorgeous i think i'm gonna use this for my sewing supplies i definitely want to learn how to sew this year i've been learning how to hand sew so definitely on the bucket list but how stinking cute is this like literally i cannot had to have this no i had to pick up another hat box and if it's in and if it's in the shape of a heart with flowers on it are you kidding it's like a tin material. There's no brand on it, but super cute. Like literally picture this Valentine's Day decor. You could put literally, like you could make chocolates and put them in here. Are you kidding? Or like even giving this as a gift. Are you kidding? So next up, I actually have like a little, it's not a hat box. It's like one of those like suitcase hat boxes, if that makes sense but I actually have one the same exact print. I just so happened to find this at the thrift store. I had to pick it up. It's so shabby chic and just so adorable. I have so many notebooks, it's insane, but if it's floral, if it has like a girly print, you know I'm gonna pick it up. Then I had to pick this little girl up. Super cute. I'm a sucker for Hello Kitty. It's so mini, so adorable, and I'm gonna put this out as Easter decor, it was only a dollar. Okay, and then all of the jewelry, it, if it was 18 and under, it was only a dollar 50. And if I had more time, cause I was with my boyfriend and yes, he did a great job. Cause you know, guys, I don't really like to shop. But anyways, um, if I had more time, I definitely would have found more treasures, but I didn't want to be annoying <laughs> and look at every single little thing. But I had to pick this little pin up I am obsessed with this. It's actually a locket. And what sold me was like the print of the flower, first of all, and then like the little bow at the top. And then it's gold. Like, picture this on a bag or like a sweater. Like, can we bring pins back? Honestly, like, I don't know why they ever went out of style. And then this. Like, this was only $1.50. This and this was $1.50. And it's like a little plushy, like vintage fan with a little bow on the top. Like this is so Marie Antoinette, are you kidding me? $1.50. And then I went to, s oh wait, no, there's one more. And then I found this little tea light. I thought it was really cute. Like I could totally make this myself, but it was on sale. I had to pick this up. It was super cute. I need to just replace the battery, but then I think I may put it in like a little cute, fancy, like candle holder. And then next up, I found this really adorable pastel Easter egg. It actually plays a song, but I'm not going to wind it up right now just because it literally will never stop. 
because I just did the Cinderella one and it went on and on and on and I just I don't feel like doing that right now but it says the song is Patchabell Cannon or something I've never heard of that before this was 549 and look at the stinking details on this this is like perfect Easter decor or just even like year-round decor it's so beautiful okay so that was at savers and also at savers i picked up these shorts these are kids shorts believe it or not they're by the brand the limited i think i used to wear these back in the day like this brand this is a size 12 i haven't tried these on yet how cute are these are you kidding me they're a little worn out like you can tell like how stretched they are but job it these are so like laura ashley vibes i saw like there are a bunch of people in the nightgown aisle they have like all the lingerie and stuff and i was like you know what there's gonna be nothing left they just hoarded everything i went back a couple minutes later and i found this so never give up at the thrift store people are looking for different things they're not gonna pick everything up not everybody is a reseller first of all like me, I don't really resell things anymore. I just like to find stuff for myself, basically. <laughs> but how stinking cute is this? This is a size medium. I haven't tried it on yet either. Go to the aisle, even if somebody is in it and people are there. Like, stop it. I found this for $7.99 and it's by the brand, by the brand Jacqueline Bennett. You guys can see that. So cute. Literally. Pair this with like a long white maxi skirt and like a jean jacket and make it casual with like cowboy boots or something. Or even like ballet flats. Like you could do so much with this. And then next up, I hit up Goodwill. This was only $2. I ended up painting it, but I do need to kind of like fix it a little bit and like scrub off the thicker part. And I did mess up some parts because I like was trying to scrub it off and it took the paint off. How cute is this? So pretty. I love anything with like a vintage carousel vibe. Okay, and then another thing that I got, this was actually from the Salvation Army, was this backdrop. How stinking cute is this? I was gonna cut it up, but then I was like, you know what? This is perfect for photos, perfect for videos. I got this, and then it also came with like the fitted sheet. Then I found this sweater that I'm wearing at Goodwill. So this is like a collective haul of like all different places. So don't expect to go to like one place and hit the jackpot because that rarely happens for me. There are some days where I do find like a lot of stuff in one place. It's not gonna happen all the time because there's a lot of people, there's a lot of resellers, but don't get discouraged because if you go to different places like often, even like yard sales, you'll find really good stuff. I find the best stuff I find is not necessarily at Savers and Goodwill because they do kind of up price stuff lately, I've seen, but you can find good stuff there. I find the best place to go is to yard sales and to smaller owned charity shops. So like they donate to hospice, they donate to causes, because um, I feel like Savers and Goodwill are kind of like bigger corporations like chains and i'm not saying you can't find good stuff there which i find a lot of good stuff at savers and goodwill but sometimes it's just better to go to the smaller owned family shops because you might find like more in bulk and better stuff okay and so the next thing that i found was this sweater this is by cupcakes and cashmere it's so pretty it reminds me of like a 1980s 90s kind of cozy vibe and I paired it with like these really cute clip-on earrings that I thrifted a while ago. And then this is a wig from Shein. And then this headband was from the Dollar Tree. But this sweater is literally so cute. Cupcakes and cashmere. It was literally like five or six dollars. And it's in really good condition. It's so cozy and comfortable. And I know it's summer and you're like, why are you wearing a sweater? It's literally so cold in here today. The AC is like blasting. It's raining outside. It's a cozy day. I'll throw. And then the last thing that I found was this really cute like tea party cozy like patty set it's like a mini furniture and I think I'm gonna use it for my dollhouse but for now I have it displayed and you probably have seen it like on my Instagram and my stories before but so cute literally a teacup chair and it's like pastel and it came with this like little thing I don't know if this was like a fire pit type thing and it was like missing the fire part and then this little tiny pots with greenery and then this 
are you kidding me it's like this little flower basket and like all of them together is just perfect and it also came with this so if you're like looking for something like that i think it's part of the whole set i forget what these are called somebody commented this is from 1997 and it says popular imports on the back so i'm not sure like what exactly like this part is or what it is but yeah guys that is it for today's video if you enjoyed it feel free to give it a big thumbs up let me know in the comments down below if you love girly thrift hauls like this because i love going out and finding gems to share with you all make sure you follow me on all my social media and everything will be linked down below as usual and i will see you guys in my next lovely video